all right we are back so let's make a quick little video we are a month since I had all the CPU rigs turned on we are mining nice hash and it's mining as you can see right here let's pick one of these little little guys it's mining random X Monero XMR and I'm getting paid out in Bitcoin that's what I want and I like it like that why because I'm not paying exchange fees not mining Monero what am I gonna do with that right I uh, have to swap it anyway and then pay a fee there yeah I just want Bitcoin Bitcoin is a uh, it's on that precipices, precipices. I can't even speak English hard. Anyway, it's a lot of events coming up with the having a Bitcoin, the um, Bitcoin ETFs from BlackRock, which own the world, Vanguard, and maybe Fidelity as well have ETFs through the SEC pending, and that should be uh, hopefully approved January, February, early spring. The having of Bitcoin is. Um, I think March, April time frame. So a lot of big stuff coming, which could catapult Bitcoin even higher than its current price of, let's go bring that little puppy up. Oh, we're at 43.633, look at that, big daddies. That may go back up higher. That's my that's my goal, right? goal, right? goal. But you never know. As we always see on the uh, crypto YouTube channel, Bitcoin, it could go up, it could go down. It could go sideways. It could do nothing at all. Yeah. And we could do on-chain analysis and lots of graphs and, and squiggly lines and stuff. And don't God, don't fall for that crap, man. You just don't know. It's it's um Bitcoin crypto is highly speculative. Speculation, you're gambling with your money. High risk. Maybe high reward. Maybe you could lose it all. It's a high risk. Think of it that way. Yeah. So do not invest. Put in money that you're not willing to lose. So it's just like gambling, going down, putting down a hundred bucks on the roulette table, and then ten seconds later, that guess what? The house owns that hundred bucks. All right, so we're right here. Uh, we're mining Ryzen 9 3900Xs with one 3950, and I got uh, the the, the freaking hash rate has dropped on it. I got to go look at that. They've all dropped, so something's going on today, and you got to keep up on your rigs. Yeah, they're all dropped off. Something's going on. I actually restarted them. So what I'm going to do, yeah, they should be about 12 or 13 kilohash a second. I'm going to go re-benchmark these, and they should come back up. Because look at my price, 553 a day. That's pretty pathetic. But anyway, let's get back to the matter at hand. What did I make in a month of CPU mining on NiceHash? So I'm about point. Zero zero six zero seven zero nine tutor tour two Bitcoin Satoshis. That's really what you want is right here. You want to stack this. You could care less about this right now. That's the uh, spot price based on Bitcoin, which we brought up right here. Uh, Forty three thousand six forty four. I just care about this number because I want to increase the holdings I have in Bitcoin whether it be a little or not. I mean, it's not much. Come on, that is not life-changing amounts of Bitcoin at this point in the game. But it's fun. It's a hobby, as I always say. So it's cool to watch this. So what you can do now is, uh, how did we do over the past month? So these are what? Six rigs, pretty much all 3900Xs, a little bit overclocked with the lower voltage to keep the temperatures under 80 degrees Celsius. So now when I uh, downvolted them to 1.1 volt using Ryzen Master, uh, the temperatures came in line and the hash rate pretty much stayed the same. Again, these are low right now and we're going to go through that real quick since we're here. But uh, what you can do with nice hash is you can go up to the history and stats. Blammo. And you can see each rig and you can see its current profitability right there and then you can look at the history and it says all algorithms but again it's just for cpu you're doing random x monero unpaid you can kind of see it spikes up pays out and resets that's what that is see the orange now you can see the average daily hash rate and earning history so here's your total earnings one two one two one three so 17 did well, 
Can I go further than this? Show more. What's below this? Oh, here we go. Last mining payments. So here is uh, December 25th. Merry Christmas. Yay. Santa, Santa, Santa. Santa, Santa, Santa. Okay. You can kind of see the payments going out. 0 0.63, 0 0.73 gives you a history of how well you've done, 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 done when mining was really profitable. There's a buck. That was a good day. 22nd did well. There we go. Just gives you an idea going through here. I want to go back a little further. Buck, buck, buck. Yes, it was doing well there. Middle of December. There's a good day, the 14th. Show more. I want more Big Daddies. I want to go back to Turkey Day. Turkey Day, Turkey Day. Let's go. Wow, I got a page now. Hold on, guys. I've got a page. We're going through this together. Oh, my God. Hang on. Oh, my. It's going to take a while. I don't like this. I wish it was just a freaking grid. I got a page back. It's going to take forever. So we're at what? Here's some good payouts. 3115. December 5th was good. 326. I want to get back to Thanksgiving. Oh my God, there's a good one. So you can see the profitability was really good. Early December. The payouts were good. Yeah, look at that. About 447. Five, five was, the, was the largest. Five, three, three, there, it dropped a little bit. Let's go back one more day. 45, 37, 38, 30. Oh, there we go, yeah. I think that's when I started around here, Thanksgiving. And you can see it was really nice. 5185 Bitcoin on a payment. Oh my God, look at that. So 23rd was 69, 50. Yeah, these are the good old days before the dark times, before the empire. Yeah, look at that, not too shabby. Five, four, five, so into fives. And then if you fast forward to today, you know, we saw they're down. They're down pretty low. So what can I do here? How can I go quickly back? Here, let's do this. So let's go to mining. And let's go to history and stash just to reset it. So I don't have to page through everything again. Uh, let's see. Where's the hash rate payments? Yeah, we're down. Look at that. It's down to one, two, three, one from the uh, heyday of the six the six range yeah so it gives you an idea but again let's go see this wallet here let's go see these I mean these rigs let's go to dashboard uh, mining and let's I wish there was a way to expand all these at once wait oh that's all the stats those are all the errors you can see all the stats right here I don't want that I wanted to just expand all of these rows. All right, let's do it. Come on, big daddies. Come on. Oh, now it kind of reset. All right, so this one came back, back, back. Number 12. 13, 13, 13 for dad. It should be around 12. So six is, wait, six kind of, six just, no, wait, seven's low. And nine. Let's go look at seven. Yeah, wow. I don't know. I'm, so what I what happens here when I see this low hash rate? I'll go into benchmark, expand it, and I don't care about Varus hash. I just care about XM rig. So I'll do that. I'll go in. I'll say clear all speeds. Yes, and now I'll do a new benchmark. And that was what number seven. Let's go back. Uh, what was the other one? Number nine. Yeah, it's low. I don't know what's going on there. Let's pause it. Go into benchmark. We got it. Uh, Random X Monero on XM rig. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna clear it. And I'm gonna do a new benchmark. All right. So we got that one. So we're waiting for seven and nine to stop benchmarking, and we'll fire it back up. I don't know why it does that. There was no errors or anything. Well, maybe there was. Hold on. Oh, why is it doing that? 
That freaks me out because I do, yeah. So it's done benchmarking. It'll start up. I get that MSR mod error. So let's do this. I'll go back to the dashboard. Pause it. I'll go back to the notification. I'm going to run this as make sure to make this thing happy. I'm just going to click on that. It's going to restart it. The nice hash miner. I don't know. It just seems to get out of sync sometimes. I don't know if they push an update down. I don't know if they push an update to the miner down and it causes things to get all wonky and you just got to monitor it and restart it. All right, there we go. Listen, it's going to come up with the MSR mod error. Yep. And here's my trick. You just freaking pause it. There's some kind of race condition there. Now when you start it again, it's gone. All right, we're going to let that spin up. Let's go back to nine. Yeah, let's pause that. You go to dashboard, pause. You go up to the uh, notification. All right, I don't get that admin error there. I just got a benchmark thing. So let's go to dashboard. I'm just going to I'm just going to kill this and relaunch it. It just sometimes running for a few days. It just seems sometimes the hash rate drops off. Sometimes it comes back. Sometimes I just force it. I just restart everything. Like I said, clearing the benchmark speeds and bringing it all back up. Not too much maintenance. You just got to monitor it now and then. Again, it's not life changing money, not life changing crypto, but it's just fun to see what is going on with the ecosystem here and what you have to do to keep things running. And then even using nice hash OS where you're running their OS on your rig, uh, it, you get the same hash rate. I ran a test on that. So let's do this. Let's, it's going to start and we'll get MSR error. Pause it. Let it drop off. All right. All the electrons have scattered. Start it back up. Boom. No error. You tell me. I don't know. It's just an annoyance, but whatever. It Just do that. You'll be fine. All right. We got 79. Spin it back up. Much better. You can see right here, it's at uh, right here, 99 cents a day. So it definitely resolved the issue where it was getting just three cents a day mining. So let's let that rip. You go to nine. Same thing, 92 cents a day. This is all before electricity. And yeah, we're doing good again. We are done. And then the dashboard will take a little bit. Uh, no, it updated. So 11.8. It's just a fresh update. It, it's usually lags a few minutes behind. And oh, nine, C9 is still waiting the update. It's showing zero because I reset everything. But there you go. That's what I made in one month. And what I do, basically, you saw what I do to maintain this thing. Pretty much that's a use case right there. Just go in and look at it now and then. If you see a low pay payment, you're going, wait a minute. Something, something look, doesn't look right. Usually that means maybe the miner got a little wonked out or something. Or you got the admin error. You got to go restart things. And that's usually what you got to check. Not much labor versus doing it yourself where you're running the miners software directly and you're running the batch scripts and you're going to Zerg pool or uh, Monero Ocean or two miners or all those sites where you have to add a little more work. I used to do all that, but this is so much easier with NiceHash. And the beauty here is I'm getting paid in Bitcoin. So what's my total right now as of December 25th, Christmas, uh, with 0 0.006 uh Bitcoin, that's about $264 as of right now. So let's say in a month I made 264 bucks mining with CPUs and I got my power bill. It wasn't really that much more. If anything, it was normal because I turned off some other stuff in the house. I wasn't really needing to run all day, like you know, some ceiling fans and pumps and stuff like that. Don't really need to be running those full blast. You can manage electricity, just got to be mindful of it. All right, so we did that. We got this um, thing right here. Oh, and also these rigs. <clears throat> if you're running the H, uh, HW Info app, let's see which one has HW Info. Yeah, right here. HW Info, I recommend if you have Windows, just get it. HW Info 64. You can run it. It basically monitors the sensors on all your hardware, motherboard, CPU, GPUs, and tells you what the wattage is they're burning and the temperatures. So here's the CPUs, stuff like that. And what do we got here? I forgot where the watt usage is. Here's the CPU, CPU, all the CPU stuff. Uh, there was a, here we go. Core power. Power consumed by the entire core domain, VDDCR underscore CPU, provided via voltage regulator 
regulator, regulator telemetry. So that's one of the software metrics on the CPU that it's reporting. Uh, pretty much this application just ties into the API and looks at the sensors on the, on the, on the, on the, the actual CPU and get you and get you and get you. And get you. you got the other, the other, the other the core plus SOC power. So CPU PPT, current CPU package power tracking value. So you got all these values. So in, in essence, you can say this puppies, I just go by the higher value. So package power is the one I usually look at. And you're burning about 92 watts per CPU, less than a GPU, and a lot less heat generated using CPU, 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 a GPU, GPU. So it gives you an idea, of not counting the motherboard usage. Let's just say you're burning 100, 100 watts per, per uh, rig. Because all I have on this thing is a CPU, uh, solid state drive, two channels of memory, and the motherboard. And on top of that is the heat sink with the fan, the prism fan, which lights up and does fancy stuff. I could probably disable the LEDs just by pulling the, um, the uh, USB plugs off the motherboard. I don't know what that would save me, if anything. But it's cool to see the color, so it's cute. I keep it. All right, so that, so that, so that. So recommend getting hardware info 64 on your Windows and having fun with that. So I'm burning that 92 watts per board. Not too shabby. Let's go look at nine for a second. Yeah, let's go over to nine. I'm just curious to see if they're, let's see if they're consistent. Run. Boop, ba doop, ba doo, doop, ba doop, ba doo. Oh, why is it over there? All right. All right, let's find CPU. That's the percentage. There we go, package power. Power consumed by the entire CPU package. A sum of power is consumed by all rails, measured via telemetry. Oh, there's all the parameters, the SOC, the CPU, the MEM plus other rails, 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 rest of chip. ROC is rest of chip. So what are we at? This one's at 86. Okay. There you go. It gets a, you know, gives you a warm fuzzy what your power consumption is. Not too bad. All right, guys. That is all I got. I just want to give you a current profitability update of after a month of mining six CPU rigs. Again, they've been off a few days here and there because uh, I because leaving my rigs running when I'm not here. I don't want to burn my house down. Uh, yeah, it's like having an EV electric vehicle in your garage. I mean, you're, you're running a risk. You know, that thing could catch on fire and burn your house down. So you got to watch out. Uh, yeah, so that's why I watch out with rigs too. You just don't know if these things will run out, you know, run hot. Like with GPUs especially, uh, I found burnt cables, burnt uh, sockets and plugs on a uh, uh, sandwich boards or bread boards where I was you know extending power supplies and that you just got to be careful with this stuff So we're holding there. So what do you guys think? Are you guys mining? What's your profitability again? I'm just running basic. I'm not overclocking these More than above normal settings, you know, just lowered the voltage To keep the temperature down and that's pretty much all I did I know you can probably do some other stuff But I'm not messing with it because things are running fine and I learned a lot with the CPU and uh, nice hash uh, after doing this two years ago with GPU, heavy, heavy, heavy into that, and then dabbling in CPU, this is so much easier with nice hash. And again, I'm just going Bitcoin all in. I swapped my Litecoin. I got so sick of Litecoin. Held that since 2016. Swapped it to Bitcoin. I'm debating whether to dump my Ethereum and get that over to Bitcoin as well. Anyway, that's all I got. Merry Christmas, guys. Yeah, let me know. Leave a comment below. Subscribe, like if you want to. Um, I'll keep you updated on how things are going here and if I find anything else. Again, I'm going easy button mode. Uh, I'm not chasing any other coins or using unminable and all this stuff. I just like nice hash. It seems easy. It seems the best of breed out there. And I'm going to stick with it for now. All right. Take care. I'm out of here. Talk to you all later. Abiento.